Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to episode number 48 of our Islanders Zoom mode. So, I wasn't actually going to record today, but um, because I'm like way ahead in videos, like all these videos you guys might see like a month later and stuff like that. It's like I'm literally recording this before Christmas even, so. Um, but anyways, um, in last episode we won our first Stanley Cup under my uh, reign, I guess, as GM. So, very happy with that last season. Um... I don't know if it's because we traded for Ryan McDonough during the off season, but uh, he had, we managed to win our first Stanley Cup, so I'm very happy with that. Um, before we get into the draft, I just quickly wanted to go to um, what is it to the Calgary Flames because I wanted to go see how uh, Weatherspoon did with them, see if we got the better of n end of the deal. So um, let's see. Where are you? Okay, maybe we'll sort it by alphabetical order. So, Watherspoon, he put up 12 points only with Cal uh, Calgary. He didn't even grow at all, so I think it was a good idea to just move him. Um, with us, let's see, where is McDonough? Yeah, McDonough put up 25 points during the entire regular season, so I think we definitely got the better end of the deal with that one. Um, but anyways, um, he's a free agent this year, so we might not uh, re-sign him, but hopefully we could get him maybe back on a one-year deal just to see if we could go for back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. That would be nice. So let's start up with the draft, and then we'll get on the re-sign stage and then free agency. And then um, we'll sim up to the start of the season, and next episode will be the um, start of the next season, so... Okay, so Dallas has the first pick, Rangers, Columbus, Edmonton, and Buffalo. Our pick, obviously, will be all the way at 30th, I think. Yep. So we still have our first round pick, but we don't have our second and our third. Also, this year, during the offseason, we have to, uh, or yeah, during the re-sign stage, we have to re-sign McMillan to a big boy contract because his minor league deal, I think, ends this year, so... First overall pick is a medium elite right wing power forward to the Dallas Stars, M. Dackel. Makes sense, I guess they're replacing like Sagan or something. Um, and then a high top six forward, left wing power forward, Merritt goes to the Rangers. So I guess we're going to be seeing a lot of that guy in the future considering we're rivals. So apparently P.K. Subban has been traded to Tampa Bay. So I guess they're going to try and go for another... Um, Presence Trophy, and then mrazic has been traded to the Ducks, and Drew Doughty's been traded to Chicago, so we'll ch check those um, trades out afterwards, and Mikonov goes third overall to Columbus, so let's just sim to our pick, I don't expect us to get anything too huge with the 30th overall pick, but um, maybe we'll find a steal, so looks like there's still some medium top 6 forwards going, so, okay, so these guys are the ones we have to choose from. So we got a defensive defenseman, West Trip. <laughs> Not a West Trip, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, this guy might be good. Center sniper, Thomas Josephson. Um, he's a high top 9-4 potential. What's his accurate stats? 82 balance and center checking. This guy seems like he'd be pretty good. And there's also a center playmaker. This guy's 19 no. And a center power forward. Personally, I think we'll go with the younger guy, the Swede. Let's see how good he is. Uh, we guess I guess I have to go back first. And Mike Hoffman's been traded to the Philadelphia Flyers, so there's been a lot of moves at this uh, draft. And um, yeah, so our player was a medium top six forward. So another centerman, but we could probably use him as a winger considering he's a sniper. Um, or he could be become like the next John Tavares center sniper kind of guy. So. That's that. Um, since we don't have a second and a third, let's just yeah, let's just sim the rest of the draft. See what else we get. So we got M Corbett at 120th overall pick. We got M Alanin, W Somers, and L Nichols. So those are our picks for the 2025 draft. Also, uh, in last episode with the Stanley Cup thing, I hope you guys liked that little montage thing with like the old um, players I did uh, just to kind of make it seem more interesting but it was a little bit of a long episode so 
Okay, on to the resign stage. So we'll check our rookies first so that we and um and see which rookies are good. Maybe th some of them will be ready for the age already. And then after that we will start signing players. I'll probably just um yeah, I'll just si uh, sign all the players and then I'll come back again to you guys cuz that way it takes some space off. So we have like 28 million in cap space, which is good news, I guess. Because we have to re-sign some big players. But okay, so Yosasin looks like he's ready to play in the AHL right off the bat. Considering he was from Sweden, he could play in the AHL. He's 18, 76 overall. Wow. So yeah, this guy is definitely getting a contract right out of the gate. Um, L. Nichols. That was our 7th round pick. He's a center grinder. Interesting. Alainen's a low 7th defenseman. That's from last year. Somers, I think, was the pick this year. Yeah, he's a low top six defenseman. Um, and Winchester, our first round pick from last year, is a 71. So, yeah, I think those two guys can both play in the AHL. So, we'll offer Winchester a contract just so you guys could see that we're signing our rookies. And Josephson, I'd like to see him play in the AHL right off the bat as a, like, 18-year-old. So... And Corbett, I guess, was a goalie, but we don't really need our, a low starter, so I'm not going to sign him yet. But yeah, so just so you guys can see what contracts we have to resign this year. So, RFA goalies, we obviously have Craig McMillan, who's our big one. And then we have Scrimes, we have Holt and Redenbach. Those are the main guys. And then Welsh as well, I guess, and some other AHL kind of guys. Uh, some of them might join the team next year. And then Ryan McDonough's the biggest UFA. And then Savard, Prince, yeah, there are some big guys we need to sign in UFAs. Um, what about UFA goalies? Yeah, Soderstrom. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll get these contracts done and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Okay guys, we are back, so, um, yeah, we signed all our RFAs, including McMillan, um, only problem is, I don't know, wait a sec, if we could, yeah, well, I don't know if we could get back, um, Matthew to Chuck, because he wants over $4 million, unless we go to 7 years, we could maybe get him back, but I don't really want to sign him for 7 years, um, so, um, this, yeah, this is going to be a hard one, but, like, even though he had really good playoffs in the last few rounds and stuff like that, and helped us contribute to one Stanley Cup, we're going to have to get, release Matthew to Chuck, but we, we might as well find a, uh, left winger on free agency, so, thank you for your time here, Matthew, and helping contribute to a Stanley Cup. That was a big one to get rid of, but that's what happened, and then we also have to get rid of all these prospect guys, and guys, they don't... I don't think they're going to turn out to be anything huge, so we're just going to leave those guys, and they're going to go to free agency. But yeah, so these are our unsigned rookies. Somers could potentially play in the AHL, but I don't think he's going to turn out to be anything, so I'm going to leave him for a year, but those are those guys, and goaltending, yeah, so. Um, yeah, let's see. So yeah, let's, I think that's all we need to do for contract purposes. We did sign, like, um, Ryan McDonough and, um, David Savard on one-year deals. And the reason I did that is because I don't know if they're going to retire at the end of the season. So, I'm just bringing them back, basically, to see if we could win another Stanley Cup. So, is Ryan McDonough is a pretty, uh, good overall player. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't drop for next season. Um, but, yeah, so... I know I've seen him play till he's like 38 usually, but uh, I'm only going to sign him for one year and see if we could get that back-to-back -back Stanley Cup. So, um, Anyways, we're here in free agency now. Let's see what is available. We need maybe a replacement for that left-wing spot, or unless we could just put Beauvillier in. But let's see what's available. So Elias Lundholm is still available. I don't even know what team he was with last year because he was a free agent last year, I remember. Well, let's just see how much points he got last year just out of curiosity. So yeah, put up. Oh, it actually it was two team two year deal. Whoever he signed with, so it was sixty five and fifty five points. So he played on a good team. It looks like. Um, let's see what is available for left wingers. Wait, let's just go. We should go affordable, not goalies. The best goalie available. What is it even? Vasilevsky. Wow, Tampa's losing their number one goalie. So maybe not uh, three straight presents for Tampa Bay. Okay, so let's sort by left wingers, and then let's go affordable. So Miko Rant is available. That might not be too bad, but he's almost the exact same type of thing as Matthew Tchuk and Sephiri's a sniper. He might not too bad to be, might not be too bad to bring in. Frank Vitrano, and the rest of these guys are kind of depth guys. So yeah, let's just give Miko Rant in a contract for one year though because I don't want him too long we'll give him one two five just in case we have like some prospect kind of guy that grows and is ready for the NHL so yeah I think that's the only signing we're gonna do if we could get him because he's basically a pretty much a better replacement than uh to Chuck to Chuck was better overall wise but um I'd rather have a sniper down there than a power forward I think so We'll see if we could get another Stanley Cup. So, I like the idea that I'm likely to be a go man for your team. Well, no problem. So, Minko Rannan is on the team. Let's just sim up to next season already, even though this episode's been pretty short because I'm going to be cutting out all the free agent signings. Uh, so, we got some player morale. Let's see. So, Minko Rannan, you won't regret signing me. Does he like demanding? No impact. Okay. Just because a lot of the players on our team currently like demanding, so so hopefully doesn't John Tavares doesn't like drop off at then this or to start next season as well because Tavares is getting close to retirement. So I'm glad we won a Stanley Cup before he retires at least. Hopefully we could go for back to back just a bit before he retires. That way he goes down as a good one of the best Islander captains. Still, so, like Dennis Poffin was. That type of captain that won, like, I think back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, I don't even know. Because I'm not, like, a huge Islanders fan, but uh, 
This GM mode is helping a bit with it. <laughs> but so hopefully all our veterans don't drop off a lot. Um, if they did, then we might be going into a bit of a rebuild stage soon. So just so you guys know, so that we might start not making playoffs and stuff like that. But hopefully we can still make the playoffs this year after winning the Stanley Cup. So is that like to contend for another cup? So the season should be almost there. There we go. Let's edit our lines. And then we also have to make sure we have everybody from minors first. So let's see. Go to roster moves. Let's see who is not in the right spot. So HL. It actually didn't want to start by alphabet quarter. But Staples and Wanda Simple. So Gore is ready for the NHL. So the, see that's why we didn't really need to resign um or not to resign, but sign Rant. And Day is ready. Edwin Ramsey was his name. I don't even remember his name. Edward Ramsey. He's our right wing sniper. He's also kind of ready. I think he's listed as a depth forward. So, hmm. I don't know if I want to bring him up though. Well, he's better than Beauvillier, so yeah, you'll we'll bring him up in Beauvillier. <clears throat> I should have released him, but uh, he's going to be going down to the minors, guys, because we don't really need him at all on the team. So we're going to go like that, and we're going to go edit lines. And we're going to go best lines. Let's see. Wow, okay. I don't know why they say to put Scrimes on the second line, um, but that's definitely not happening. Hosang goes down to the third. Scrimes can play on the second, actually. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, actually, Leon Drysdale needs to play on him spot hmm so we're gonna put leon dry sidle wait yeah he has better face offs than Volardi. Volardi we had on the first line last year we had strom here and we had scrimes as the centerman yeah that was right and so gore actually perfectly replaces um to chuck so left wing grinder so that's nice and Rannon is gonna play on the fourth line hopefully he doesn't compare uh playing about his ice time with sunstrom and holt uh, defensively, McDonough did drop off a bit, but that doesn't matter too much because he's still in 87. He's probably going to drop off throughout the course of the season, but that's uh, like our top six. Let's see if there's anybody who shouldn't be. Nope, everybody's perfect for defensively. We don't have really any defensive scratch players. Redenbach, he's listed as a depth forward, so is 82, so that's fine. Edward Ramsey, yeah, yeah, he could be scratched. Matthew Barzel, that's the only problem. Oh. See, I don't know if I should have... Yeah, I don't think I should have signed Rantanen. I only signed him on a one-year deal, too, so... We might have to uh, get rid of Rantanen right away, unless we want to get rid of Barzil, but... I don't think moving Barzil would be good for the team at the moment. I guess we could always... Um, like, I'm keeping Holt in the lineup, because Holt's been good, even though he's a depth forward. Um, Sunstrom's also... Sunstrom's listed as a minor scoring forward, but he's been good with the team we signed him on a one-year one million dollar contract so i guess we'll see if uh Rannon starts complaining a lot and then we'll move him if we need to but i don't think i should have signed him and mcmillan's up to an 86 for this season so pretty nice he's grown by two overalls so this season he's definitely our starter yeah he's a starting goalie now too and our backup is Soderstrom, so not too bad of a goaltending duo. I think it's our best overall since, like, Halak and Grice, so not too bad. And then AHL, let's just go best lines for a second. So, Beauvillier, number one center. Welsh is still there. So, yeah, Welsh isn't growing as much as I hope to. Um, let's see, anybody who's scratched that should not be scratched. Floor could be scratched. Braun, I should put on the... Wait, actually... Uh, Josephson, yeah, uh, there's so much good prospects down there. Let's put Welsh as the first line center, Josephson second, Braun third, and just put Beauvillier in the fourth line because he hasn't really turned out to be anything. It's just I want these prospects to play over him. And then Winchester, yeah, on the wing, that's nice. We have a lot of power forwards, holy crap, I just realized. See, S. is a power forward, Surge pay, or Spike Payer, not Surge. Uh, Lucas Winchester is also one. Any other power forwards down here? Oh, yeah, there's another one, Schofield. So we've been drafting a lot of power forwards, it seems like, but whatever. 
So that's offensively, defensively, anybody scratched that should not be. Uh, Saarinen and Darby, I don't want both those guys scratched out. Dirksen's only his seventh defenseman, so he could definitely be scratched. And Darby should, yeah, we're gonna replace LeBlanc. Cause, but Darby hasn't grown at all. Like my medium top six defensemen don't seem to think they're growing at all. Like that was, that sucks though. And then an HL Gallant's the starter and Mark Hu's the backup. Mark Hu's actually up to a 71, so. But he's 22 now, so I don't think he's going to be eventually our backup like I was hoping. But that's a look at your New York Islanders roster for year number 9, I think. But for the season after winning the Stanley Cup. So anyways, that's going to do it for episode number 48, guys. In the next episode, we'll start the season, or we'll probably do the entire season simulation. And then after that, hopefully the Stanley Cup playoffs. So thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,